All right. Input device. Worst feedback setting adult. What kind of game is this? There's a, notice that X there? Is that showing me where to shoot? Doesn't seem to be hitting him, so I don't know what that X actually is. Target is now in firing range. I'm gonna fire at this thing. Oh my god, I think I got him! Oh my god, hold on! Wait, is this showing me where to shoot in order to hit the po oh, I collided with him at full speed. Did I die? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay. And today we're hopping into the open-ended space sandbox game known as X3 Reunion. In this game, you get to explore the universe and fight or trade your way to great success. Apparently, most ships in this game can be captured. The player can go anywhere. There's like 160 sectors to explore with various races to interact with. There's a reputation system. You can get notoriety or just be a merchant if you want. Buy ships, buy stations. There's really no limit. There are pirates lurking around, all sorts of stuff. As you can see, space things are happening in the background here and it's making the news. And also uh, everything is in either Chinese or Japanese or some other Asian uh, letter alphabet. I don't really know. I only speak English, so we're just going to skip forward here. X3 Reunion! This game actually came out in 2005, but the developer has been continually expanding and supporting this game since, and there are fan patches and add-ons and stuff as well, so this game really is like a living game. It's kind of interesting, actually. I've never heard of it before. I've never played it. I'm just spouting what I have read uh, to you guys. So we're going to be experiencing this game for the first time today and uh, just seeing how it goes. Let's go ahead and start a new game here. We can be a normal, quick start, extreme, aspiring explorer. You have the tools and the passion to discover the riches of the myriad worlds around you. All your lifelong dreams to uncover the mysteries of the X universe. You can be a merchant, leverage your business skills to master and dominate the trade lanes. Difficulty, not all that hard. Storyline, disabled. Uh, you can be an assassin. Uh, your combat skills are formidable, but your bank account is not. Wow, so you just go around assassinating people or play a custom game. Interesting. I kind of want an easy game, to be honest. So, wield... The developing power of your fledgling fleet and face the X universe head on. You're well equipped uh, for your journey, but there may be advantages to doing it the hard way. What does that mean? What what advantages is there going extreme versus quick? We're going quick start. Um, I w was semi tempted to try the merchant, uh, but I feel like even as a pilot, we'll be able to use the merchant, so I'm not uh, too worried about it. Um, but yes, this this game actually sounds quite neat. So. Um, basically the universe is in a dynamic state and there is supply and demand and you can buy resources in one part of the universe and fly it to the other and try and make profits. And that reminds me of one of my like all time favorite uh, little mini games, which was a game called Trade Winds, uh, where you just sail around a ship buying and selling supplies. So it's kind of like Trade Winds in space, but you can also go full Star Wars and just go be like a space assassin or whatever. Anyway, let's listen to the intro here and see what they're actually talking about. Down to 30%, and we don't have many old pilots left to teach the new ones. Can you think of a more important task? You'll get a chance to put your life on the line soon enough. I just hope your father recovers soon to give us some insight into the car. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna be doing some training. I'm just gonna mess with the audio levels real quick. Um, I cannot. I'm skipping the cutscene. Okay, you know what, whatever. We're gonna be training pilots. I wanted to actually turn the music levels down a little bit. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, so we can go into audio and there. That way you guys can actually sort of hear when uh, the computer's trying to talk to me. What's going on? All right. One other initial order of business whenever we play a flight simulator is to look at the controls. And there are definitely a lot of them. So let me just sort of sift through and see if I can figure out what's going on here. Okay, we accelerate and decelerate with X and Z. Those are important. Boost extension is tab. I'm going to forget most of these keys, so it's like I can only commit like five or six keys to my mind, so I have to look for the most important ones. Autopilot. That might be useful. Eject from the ship. Let's not do that by accident. 
so we can strafe. W, A, S, and D seems to be uh, sort of the standard uh, move buttons. Targeting mode, launch missiles, select weapon group, target nearest enemy, capital T. All right, identify selected object. I wonder if there's like, you know what I would like is, what are my, what are my current objectives? I mean, I guess this is a sandbox game, so I can kind of do whatever I want. So <laughs> it's going to be up to me to find objectives. And, uh, oh my god, barter goods, trade with station, land your ship, change your ship. Oh my god, there's freight commands, upgrade commands, interface commands, a lot of stuff here. Okay, yeah, there's even a script editor, that's pretty cool. Alright, whatever. We we have most of it figured out, sort of, but not at all. Okay, X to, to accelerate, right? There we go, we can actually move. Capital T to target the nearest enemy. Of which I do not see any. Oh, here's our here's our weapons. We can select Ooh, look, different uh, viewpoints. It's pretty cool. We'll go for the first person mode though. Okay. Are there different weapons? Not that I can see. Are we have basically this is our only option. Okay, can we stray for anything? I can't tell. One thing about these space games is like there's no landmark, so it's like, am I going fast or what? Like I can't tell like if I'm strafing, if it's doing anything. Because it's like the only landmark is this big um, uh, you know, Stargate that's way off in the distance. And look at this thing. Look at that planet, too, by the way. That's pretty cool. All right, let's fly into the Stargate and see where this takes us. There's two things I'd like to try and accomplish today, and I say try because we will just see what happens. But the first thing I would do, like to do is kill somebody. So let's find a pirate or something and shoot him out of the sky. The second thing I would like to do is trade with somebody. So let's find a station and dock with it. Gamma flight leader reporting. We're waiting to the west of the north gate, sir. Wait, they're waiting to the west? West is still a direction in space? I, I, I'm I, pretty sure in space there's no such thing as west, but whatever, dude. Okay, north, west. Where Where is east in space? Uh, I would like to know. Uh, what, is, what is this? How do I select the target? The Argon okay. Trading Station. Ooh, an Argon Trading Station. All right, we're definitely going to trade. I'm very gradually flying toward... This trading station. We're gonna trade. We're gonna buy something and see if we can sell it somewhere else. That'll be one order of business. Also, I see a W here. I think that's West. Can't 100% tell. Oh, wait, there's a West. There it is. See N E W in the lower right corner of my. Uh, you know what? Actually, I can point to you guys. <laughs> so if you right click your mouse, it actually unlocks your cursor from whatever your, your space controls. So. This game is actually a very lovely looking game and it obviously looks really complex and today we're only going to scratch the surface but one thing I like and one thing I read is that the developers really actually tried to strip everything they could out of the HUD so that you really had a completely unobstructed view of space and like look at this like actually like really cool. It is a really neat idea for a game, like just a totally open world space game. I mean, I, I guess that's what No Man's Sky was supposed to be. But I do know that on launch that did not hold up to expectations. I don't know how it's doing these days. I've heard that there have been some patches that have improved it. Maybe Free one day Argon we'll check it out. Station. Free Argon oh, Trading can, Station. Uh, dock with them or let's talk to them. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Ooh. Press permission to land. Positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. All right. So we can dock. Argon tra docking aborted. Oh. Autopilot off. Wait, what? Uh, I had it. I had it going. So wait, when I requested permission to dock, it like Free did an Argon autopilot thing. Station. Oh, when you right click dock, it's just the computer takes over and docks for you. That's actually super convenient because I probably would have just crashed into the station and <laughs> burned alive if I had tried. All right, computer. See, this is what we need, people. We need like, it, this is the equivalent of a self-driving car in the future. And self-driving cars, I look forward to with, uh, re with reckless abandon. I would really love a self-driving car. Um, am I still docking? What's happening? I don't want to I don't want to touch anything because maybe I'm still docking, but it feels like I'm not. No, I'm docking. 
I'm not I'm not touching the mouse right now. The computer's just doing this. Um now, another thing I should say is that um normally when I play these space games, I tend to um are we actually docking? Hold on. Talk to these guys. To the request permission to system. land again. Make your request. Request permission. Positive. To land. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Incoming message. Wait, incoming message. How do I read my messages? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Docking aborted. Docking Auto aborted. Off. Wait, what are you talking about? Okay, I, I don't know if the autopilot's going to actually uh, going to dock us. So you know what? Let's just go go for it for ourselves. Incoming message. Let's just do it. Oh God, dock. Wait, what's what's the dock button? Hold on. Okay, we'll go to dead stop. Uh, go into our controls. Dock with target D. Okay. D. 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 Command rejected. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your request. Positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Oh look, they opened up. Okay, we can get in there. Boom. Oh, we docked! Successful we did it! We figured it out! <laughs> On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading. You guys have a space president? Pretty cool. Well, let's trade. Oh, here we go. All right. What do we want? Warheads are needed in the production process of missiles. Most technical details about the internals of warheads are kept secret. Okay, good to know. Argon law enforcement license. Interesting. Uh, engine tuning. All right, let's buy some goods. Cloth rhymes. That can't be worth anything. Meat steak kahunas. Quantum tubes, fighter drones, interesting. Stott spices. All right, let's be a spice trader. Stott spices, also known as boron spices, are highly regarded by all races in the known universe. They are used to mix with many different basic foodstuffs to provide tastier foods with more exotic flavoring and various tastes. Tastier foods. I'm on board. How do I buy? Incoming message. Okay, T is for bartering goods. Let's give this a shot. Trade. And we want spices. How do we buy them? Oh, here you go. You drag you drag up how many you want on your ship. Okay, let's do 41 spices. And let's buy some warheads, too. I'm not allowed to buy warheads. Oh, I guess I need to upgrade. Your, your, your notoriety is too low. Oh, and <laughs> we don't have enough notoriety. Okay, let's just buy some computer components. We're going to be dealing in spice and computer computers. Spot. I feel like that's a good mix. Personal, what did I say? Personal assessment. Ah, here's my pilot information. My combat ranking, harmless. Trade ranking, opportunist. All right. Uh, how about my ship? Well, I can give orders. Incoming message. All right, we're getting lost in uh, in all these uh, things. Ooh, look at this. Lots of options to try and uh, figure stuff out uh, in this game. So obviously this game is much bigger than I'm going to be able to figure out in our little playthrough here today. But this is kind of cool. All right. Let's, uh, we keep getting an incoming message. I'm one of those dicks who doesn't read his space emails. Let me just uh, go in here and figure out how I uh, read messages. One thing I like, by the way, is that it doesn't pause the game when you look up controls. And normally that would annoy me, but in a game like this, where it might take a few minutes to travel between places in space, I kind of like that you can just do this asynchronously. So, messages. L maybe? Message log? Okay, that does nothing. What about M? Does M do anything? No. Okay, we can get a sector and a galaxy map. Let's take a look at that in a second. C is for comms. Maybe that's where I get my incoming message. Okay, first of all, incoming there's message. a map of sectors. And there's a incoming map of the galaxy. Message. That's pretty cool. Okay, C for the comms. Uh, I don't know how to <laughs> I don't know how to read my messages. 
Um, anyway, okay, I'm just gonna head to the W and hope everything works out. We'll find some space pirates eventually, and or we'll find somebody who wants to buy our sweet spices and computer components. Uh, but what I was trying to say before we docked at that station is that normally when I play space games, I'd like to crack out a joystick and play with that. But I feel like I have a really hard time in space games actually shooting down enemies. And I decided today I was going to cheap out and use a mouse uh, because I find mice more precise when it comes to aiming. Oh, that rhymed. I find mice more precise. But yes, I find mice to be just way more precise when it comes to aiming on computers. Uh, much more so than joysticks. I, I feel like having a joystick would make this feel more like I was a pilot in space, but today we're going for accuracy over, you know, uh, realism. I just want to see, like, when we get into a space battle, can I legitimately fairly easily shoot down some enemies, indicating that the reason I suck at space games is I'm often trying to play them with a joystick, or am I still going to struggle? Um, I don't know what it is about space games, but like they're not that different from first person shooters, but I have a hell of a time playing space games typically like I feel like in first person shooters, it's easier to hit people when you shoot at them. And because you're only playing, I mean, a first person shooter is basically a two dimensional game, right? Like people don't fly at you from every single angle and direction, but like in a 3D game like this, like you can face any single direction. And as a result, I find it way easier in the heat of battle to get lost and uh, have a hard time tracking enemies like when an enemy is flying at you and they whiz by I try to turn around to face them and then I often can't find them Meanwhile, they somehow have found me and are shooting Entering me in the back system. Red light Oh, I thought they were gonna actually say something there uh, Anyway, so yeah, I, I uh, trying to target enemies, but I'm not really finding any I wonder if we can like make enemies Like it doesn't seem to like I guess there's there's no hostile aliens Hanging around here. Drone factory. Alpha. There's a drone factory. Let's find a let's find a station and see if they want to buy our stuff. I have a backup plan if we can't find any pirates. I think the tutorial mission in this game actually shows you how to fight, and in doing so it makes you fight <laughs> ships. So we could always give that a shot. But man, this this plane the, or this this ship like just turns on a dime. Like it's very responsive to uh, to my movements. Anyway, I'm getting lost even just turning around here. Uh, what is this? Uh, we should find out how to target at things that are right under, right in front of me. That's one thing I would like to know. So flight controls, we got all those. We can also eject at the end just for fun if we want. Weapons. Okay, target, next object. Oh, we can just roll the mouse wheel. Oh, that might be handy. How about target the thing that I'm aiming at? There's no option for that. It's shocking. Um, okay, so we can just sort of scan through. Hey, there's a police station. Interesting. Incoming message. Oh, there's an incoming message. How do we read these? Is it over here somewhere? Can I click on anything? I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Incoming message. Pilot information. Show me the messages. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I can't read the message because there's a star in the way. Can I move this? No, I can't. I aim my ship somewhere else so I can read my emails. My space emails. The patrol will start near the north gate in Home of Light. From there, take the west gate to the red light. Once in the red light, head for the south gate. Okay, hold on. The patrol will start near... Okay, we've gone in totally the wrong spot. What gate did we even come in here? Seven further messages. You've received a warning from your ship AI, your current position. The ship has ability to dock. Oh, it's actually telling us how to play the game, but we kind of ignored this. Uh, the area in your ship's control. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So where did we come from? That is a good question. We might have come from over there. Oh, look at this. All right. So we want to connect to the, we want to go here. Oh wait, what happened? Okay, we're going to try and get back to the home of light. And I think we need to take the east gate. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I, I mean, I could reset the game because <laughs> we got lost instantly, but I'm trying to actually use my space navigation brain to see if I can actually figure this out. 
Yeah, we just spent the last like five minutes flying away from this gate, so there's no unfortunately fast way to get back there. So maybe I'll just uh, have to edit this out. So far, my only complaint with the game is that because it is truly an open world sandbox game, there doesn't seem to be any fast traveling. So you spend 20 minutes flying away from a place that you want to go back to. You got to spend 20 minutes flying back. I know that's how the real world works, but I want my video games to be better than the real world. Anyway, it's not really a complaint so much as it just is, you know, like that's just how the game works. Oh, look at this. I figured something out. If you go, if you highlight this, it will tell you where it goes. The home of light. See, it tells you it goes to the home of light. So this is the correct ship uh, or the correct way gate. I was able to follow the map. Okay, so the north, south, east, west thing makes a heck of a lot more sense to me now that uh, now that I realize there is an overhead map and it shows you how the sectors connect to one another. So we're figuring stuff out. The Argon military have taken full advantage of the riches in this area. Competition is fierce. Oh my. What's going on over here though? Scattered in the shadow of now terraformed planet Coe's Haven, its recently recolonized system installations are mainly concerned with the production, high quality electronics and fabrics. Damn, we should have bought some fabrics. There we got all this worthless spice. Lack security arrangements make the system a favorite route for pirate raiding parties. All right, so I have a suspicion that if we do go back here, we will encounter some pirates, which I think is good for us. We're gonna give the pilot, the pirates, face full of Attention. lasers. Energy low. Energy is low, wait, what? Does it build back up? Or do I just run out? Maybe I just wasted all my ammo, all right, whatever. Very slowly getting to the gate. Still not in it. There we go, finally. I mean, I'm, I, I think you can buy ship upgrades, and I'm sure there are faster ships and stuff like that um, as you uh, as you play the game. All right, so let's go in here. Where did my messages go? Quick menu, main menu. Wait, all my messages went away. Hold on, quick menu. Don't, you can just, why is eject there? Pilot. Ah, crap, I didn't, how do I get to my messages? I'm pressing L for message log, but it's not doing anything. Also, by the way, I think I figured out how you can actually select things. You just click on them with your mouse. M alpha. It's actually pretty cool. So you don't need a button to highlight whatever is at your reticle. You just... I really click on things. Taxi service. There's a taxi in space, a space taxi. Pretty neat, actually. Like, the interface for this game is actually better than most space games. And I, it's like, I, I, I was having trouble adapting to it because I didn't think it would be that simple. But it's like, actually, a really smart interface. Um, that said, and it's easy to rotate. We. <laughs> So yeah, very easy to fly around this game. Uh, but Terracorp headquarters. Help me, Terracorp. Interesting. Doesn't help me. Uh, not help me figure out where to go. So I started at the. They want me to start at the north gate, and then go to the west gate. That I remember. Kahuna Baker. You could almost play this game like a uh, real-time strategy Argon. game. Like, look at all these like Argon. dynamic. Food. Or you know, ships and stuff that are just flying around. This is really cool. This actually makes me feel like a space guy. Ooh, a pirate. Oh, we found a pirate. Uh, select as target. Pirate. Oh, we found a pirate. Wow, I, I was just kind of messing around. Oh, there he is, that little bastard. We're going to go get him. Wow, cool. Yeah, this. The, I feel like the computer interface for this game legitimately feels like a futuristic uh interface on a ship and it makes me feel like i'm actually a, sp a space pilot out there who's in his own ship and he's flying around because it's like there's all these advanced like sensor things and stuff that you can do like really neat actually you can just go in and oh my god there's pirates. Gonna fight some pirates guys all right, you stinking pirate. I am, I am, uh, you know, flying at him at full speed. It just looks incredibly 
Uh, not impressive. Because, you know, there's there's nothing nearby, so it just doesn't feel like I'm... It feels like I'm barely moving at all. But I am flying at this guy at full speed. The Pirate Falcon. I don't know where my backup is. I didn't really pay attention to the whole mission of what we're supposed to be doing here. But you know what? It's an open world sandbox game. I contend that I'm playing this game correctly. I contend that when you play an open world sandbox game, you're supposed to just kind of mess around and flop around like a fish on land, not really know what's going on and stumble your way into things and make discoveries. That is the joy that open world games have created for us. And I'm going to take full advantage. He's nine kilometers away. Can I hit him yet? And I like how I have like a little zoomed in, uh, Zoomed in view of him, in the, in, of him in the top left. There, we got this guy. What are these? Pirate, Falcon, pirate, 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 and pirate. Falcon, pirate. Let's go for this guy Falcon. actually, because he's like off by himself, and he's only five kilometers away. I'm gonna see. So I'm trying to fire right now and seeing like where on the zoomed in view of the pirate is are my lasers even appearing there's a, notice that x there is that showing me where to shoot kind of curious doesn't seem to be hitting him so i don't know what that x actually is target like, is now in firing where range. the pirate wants to be i'm gonna fire at this thing oh my god i think i got him oh my god hold on wait is this showing me where to shoot in order to hit the pole oh, i collided with him at full speed did i die did I die? I think I totally died. <laughs> so much for Jay the Merchant. His ship exploded. Yeah, the end is like... Wow, that's weird. Um, my ship was loaded with spices and computer parts and I got into a high-speed car accident in space and died. Wow. Okay, we're going to give this one one more shot here. Um, in fact... Let's go bankrupt assassin on this one, because why the hell not? Um, I was just sort of thinking like, uh, like, like, okay, like buying and selling stuff. Like you guys get the idea. You buy stuff from stations to try and sell it at a profit. It's cool. It's neat that that's a way you can make money in this game and you can be a merchant. Let's just go full combat and just go kill some dudes. So hopefully my ship is like, you know, beefed out and is like very powerful. And there was something I noticed in the interface uh, of my ship right before I died, which is that normally when I play space games, I just try and like, f uh, like get the enemies highlighted and then fire where they are. And sometimes I lead my shots a little, but oftentimes it can be hard to know where to lead it. Um, but this game actually shows you if you want to hit the target you've got selected, you have to aim at this little point over here because by the time your lasers get there, it will actually hit the enemy. I I am blown away by that. The fact that that is a thing. We're just straight up going to attack this guy because we want to. He's a super freighter. Whatever. We're we're attacking this guy. We're going to blow him up. Okay, we have like a we have a totally different kind of gun here now. I know eventually you can get missiles and stuff. Freight transporter. But uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and attack this guy. We're going to be the pirates now. After a brief, 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 brief for, foray into being a merchant, we're now going to be the, the pirate dicks. Oh, wow, I cannot believe, I really have to say this interface, like I started off being like, yeah, like, okay, uh, I read the developers, took away everything that wasn't useful. I like the fact you can right click and get access to the mouse and just click on stuff, you know, and it's it's pretty pretty intuitive that way. Then I realized you can just click on actual objects. And I was like, wow, that's actually really cool. And if you want to dock, you just click and say you want to dock. And then I realized that it actually tells you where to shoot if you want to attack something. That is cool. Can I just autopilot the attack? Wait, wh what did I just do? Did I autopilot the attack? Hold on, I want to see what happens here. I, I'm not in control of my ship right now. This is actually, if my ship automatically attacks, I officially, oh my god, wait, what's happening? It's firing. Oh my god, my ship is doing everything for me! Look, he's damaging him! You don't even have to fight your own fights! That is remarkable. Oh my god, we did it! I wasn't in control of my ship at all. This is my favorite space game of all kind uh, of all time and it just crashed
damn it. Okay, once more into the rough. Let's go back to normal and see if we can actually follow that initial mission and fight those pirates. But I am literally blown away by this game. Not only do I think the interface is great, and it, it even shows you where to shoot to hit guys, which makes space combat so much easier. It gives you these awesome sector overviews where you can like find enemies anywhere in the sector and like easy maps to follow to know where you're going in space. Not only is all that stuff true, but you can literally just click a button and your space computer will do the fighting for you, which might feel like, you know, sort of a, a cop out. But honestly, as someone who sometimes struggles with space combat, that is such a handy feature and a realistic feature. If you were actually had ships powerful enough to go into space, of course you would have AIs powerful enough just to fight basic battles for you. Like I don't, I wouldn't expect the AI to be amazing, but at least you could just click on a guy and click attack. And like, you could let the computer handle the aiming and stuff and you could deal with actually trying to outmaneuver the enemy. I don't know, that's actually, it's such a cool feature. I've never seen that in a game. I feel like many developers would be afraid to put a feature like that in the game because they would think that uh, people would rely on it and then they wouldn't have their own space fights and then things wouldn't be fun for them and they would, you know, it would just be a negative feature to have in a game uh, overall. But let me tell you, that is not the case. I, I am fascinated by this game and, and quite fra frankly shocked with uh, how neat all of this is. Wow. I'm also shocked that for a game that looks as look, this game looks complicated. I'll admit, I actually procrastinated a lot when it came to playing this game and I dragged my feet uh, and there were several days I sat down to play this game and I was like, no, no, I just can't. It's too complicated. I don't want to deal with that today. Now that I'm actually playing it, I feel like this game is remarkably easy to pick up. You know, it certainly is a complex game. Don't get me wrong. And again, I'm probably missing a lot because, I mean, I've only played this game for what, like 30, 40 minutes at this point. So there's probably way more that you can do in this game. But that said, I so far am impressed. We're waiting to the west of the north gate, sir. Gamma flight leader. Okay, Gamma flight leader, where are you? They said they're waiting to the west of the north gate. How do, how do you tell what you have selected? Oh, there they are. Look at them. I have a whole little crew. There's a crew. I missed you guys last time. I'm sorry. I totally ditched you guys. I was kind of rude about it. Uh, hold on. Let's go into our list of sections. Oh, yeah. Look, there they are. The Gamma Flight Leader. So it's like if you lost him, you could even still like go in and find him. That is so cool. I love this interface. Battle times are still slow. It takes a while to get to where you want to go. But I guess it's all part of the space realism. Like that star like beams light at me when I'm looking over here, but it totally goes away over here. There must be some obstruction or something in the distance that's blocking it. All right, guys, I'm close. Are we ready to go? The Gamma Flight Leader. I'm ready, Chief. Put me in. Gamma Flight, ready for patrol, sir. Don't call me sir. I'm not fleet. Right, Gamma Patrol. Keep it sharp and try not to shoot each other down, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Then let's get to Cloud Base Southwest. Gamma Flight, head to West Gate and scan for hostiles. Commence patrol. All right, so we're flying to West Gate now. Also, I like how my guy's like, all right, everybody, nobody mess up. Conveniently ignoring the fact that I uh, might have flown into an enemy ship and exploded myself last time. Also, by the way, I just turned on the autopilot. So simple. You just It's you. You is the autopilot button. You just press U. And uh, you sit back. You know what? I, I feel like I need a coffee. I feel like I should be holding a coffee, like sipping it, just like leaned back in a recliner, kind of watching the game almost play itself. Uh, but anyway, I'm just going to let the computer do some of the specific flying. I want to like sort of see how this autopilot stuff actually works. The thrusters are sticking again. Nika says they're short of spares. Do I look like your counselor, Loka? No, sir. I think he jams him himself. You've seen how he looks at Nika. Hoping she'll give you a service, eh, Loka? Wants her to lubricate his jump rod. This isn't a picnic, Gamma Flight. Let's stole that chatter. Okay, there you go. There was some chatter. All those people sounded like robots to me, by the way. They had very robotic 
sounding voices. Um, let's look at our map while we're waiting. Let's see, we must be making progress. Yeah, there's our guys. Check your scanner. Stay sharp. I've got cock ships coming in. Call out if you oh, here we go. Don't go playing hero. Enemies. Oh, look at them all. All right, we finally have a fight here. Uh, follow. Hold on. Wait. Attack! Oh, somebody rammed me. Or maybe I rammed into them, which is more likely. Okay, I want to see the computer kill another ship, and then we'll give it a shot. We'll see what we can make of this. Oh, all my guys are, like, getting in the mix already. Oh my god, they're killing everyone! Hold on, I want to fight one of these guys. Save one for me! Go, computer! Go, computer! You got it. Oh, what's happening? The computer turned away. It's it's turning cowardly. I guess it was trying to get a better angle. I think the guy might have been destroyed. I don't know what's happening. I told the computer to attack, and we're just sort of flying around. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, those guys did all the work. All right. Scout. I'm gonna take on this guy, and I'm gonna do it myself by firing at this little leading circle. Oh, I can't tell if I did it or they did it. Well, and if I fire at this circle, will it hit my guy? Oh, never mind. So this circle will hit him, right? Oh no, but he's turning. Go. Just gonna fire one. We're just gonna graze his hull. Oh, I actually hit him! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Okay, those circles totally do tell you where to shoot to hit people. What an awesome feature! This feature should be in every space game for the rest of time. For the rest of time, I'm, I'm telling you. I, I mean, the, the downside of this game is just how slow it is. Like, we've been playing for, for 40 minutes now. It's like we've barely seen any action. So, I mean, this definitely falls in the category of like a simulator -y type open world game. Um, you know, you're, this is the kind of game you want to play over like hundreds of hours, probably, and like build up a character and like explore the galaxy and buy space stations and spaceships. There's actually no limit to how many spaceships or space stations you can own, so you can build like a whole fleet, I believe. I don't know if they can all be piloted simultaneously or it's like just you can pilot them, but I do know you're allowed to buy all sorts of stuff. Um, and if you do try and be a merchant, by the way, NPCs are going to be flying around the galaxy trying to like outdo you. So if there's like a big demand for computer parts or something like that, and you try and like, uh, you know, take buy computer parts to take to a sector that needs them, NPCs will be doing the same thing and they might get there before you and sell the computer parts, make all the money, and then you get there and you have worthless cargo. So it's like, it's not like being a merchant is just like a free ticket to an easy ride. It's like, no, you, you know, you have a bit of competition as well. It's not combat competition, like pirates trying to kill you but it's a different kind of competition. Kind of interesting. This autopilot thing truly does make life a lot easier. Um, it's a great feature, especially uh, having the computer just kill your enemies. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what they could do about the travel speed because it's all part of the simulatory part of the universe. I just feel like in a game like Grand Theft Auto where you have to drive between point A and point B, it's far more interesting. This, I mean, certainly there's lots of interesting stuff to look at, but um, at the same time, I kind of feel like there's not enough to look at to like totally keep my interest. But one cool feature is that you can like pull up these menus and stuff. So I don't know what we're supposed to do at this point. Are there any more pirates? We killed them all. I feel like we killed them all. <laughs> Just going through the list of every ship in the sector, which is kind of a cool thing that you can do. Um, oh, maybe we're supposed to go through this gate. I think that's what happened to my team. They all went in this gate. So I'll follow them. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, they're all... I think that guy just jumped, too. We're kind of jumping backwards. We're going through the, the gate the wrong way, but whatever. Game is also beautiful. I mean, it, it truly does. Oh, yeah, we went through the gate and then, like... We were going through backwards. We like got reversed through the gate. 
Space really does look cool in this game. All right, let's scan. There's our dude. Okay, Gamma. Remember, it might look quiet, but that's normally when things turn to crabs. I want to scan sweep to the center of the sector, then head to Southgate. All right. Now, you can ignore this campaign if you want, by the way. Jamis got one of those new M4s. That's because Jamis can fly. Is that the same guy? There's like two guys talking on the radio right now. They literally look like the same guy, like they're clones or something. Uh, but anyway, apparently you can skip this whole campaign if you want. Even if you're playing the single player mode that has it on, you can just totally ignore it. Um, the game really, you can just do whatever you want. Um, and as far as I know, no sectors are locked off, although don't quote me on that. It might be the case that some sectors are locked off, but I think the universe is pretty much just open for you to explore and just go nuts, so. Are you questioning fleet orders, Kim in? No, sir. What is the fleet? The fleet is always right, sir. That's right. The fleet is always right. And you love the fleet. <laughs> what? I feel like the banter is weak. I wouldn't rate the dialogue as being the most witty or interesting. Or subtle. <laughs> But whatever, I mean, I don't know. Few video games have amazing stories. Usually the story is like ancillary to the actual gameplay. You're you're not playing a video game in order. Well, I mean, some games have great stories, but I guess what I mean is like it's hard it's hard to find a game that has great acting and great dialogue. Some games do, but it's usually quite rare. Even games that I would say have great stories don't necessarily have like voice acting or dialogue, you know. Like I think Braid is one of the games I would say that has that has one of the most mind-blowing stories. Like I was playing that game, I thought I was playing a video game, and at the end I was like, "Holy crap! What is happening?" And the, and then you kind of look back and realize what you were doing for the last you know five hours or whatever. So yeah, Braid was cool. I would say it has a great story, um, but it doesn't necessarily have any voice acting or anything. Um, and I think voice acting—it's hard for it to not be cheesy in video games. But there's got to be examples out there. I can't think of any off the top of my head. But there's got to be examples where it's true. Um, like, certainly... Like, who does a lot of voice acting in video games? Like, I'm thinking Rockstar. They do a lot, and they had, like, Ray Liotta and stuff do video games. Oh, here we go. Here's a, here's a space right. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is what we were waiting for. We're fighting, like, dodecahedrons. Pyramids and dodecahedrons. Is that enough? Oh god, they're killing everyone. Uh-oh. I think it's time to flee! I think the most noble thing to do here is to run away. Um, alright. Uh, I'm in autopilot mode still. How about we turn around? And... Oh, I've got someone selected. I'm just gonna fire at the circle! Oh god, we almost crashed. Alright, where are ya? Where are ya? Firing at your circle! Yeah, we got him! Firing at your circle. I'm like low on energy here. Okay, hold on, we gotta regenerate. And fire. Oh yeah! Wow, I, I... You know, I started today, and I mentioned that like I normally have a hard time in space video games actually hitting people. This is, this is the game for me, man. We found it. It only took five years of playing games out of the thousand one book to find a space game I was good at, but they exist. Great shooting. Wow, that was that was like fun. And my my complaint, honestly, is that my allies did all the killing. I kind of wished I could have killed more of those guys, but that was great. Um, I totally missed what I'm supposed to do next, but. I kind of think that might be okay. I mean, like, honestly, like, for some games, for some big games like this, I will play them for, like, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, three hours sometimes. But I feel like for a game like this, honestly, like, it's in some ways going to be more of the same if we just keep playing. Um, but that's not a bad thing necessarily, but just I think in terms of our little exploration of the game today, you know, we've gotten a taste of it. We've seen what it's about. I like what I see, and uh, I think maybe that's enough for a Thousand and One quest. So X3 Reunion here is one of the games in the book of Thousand One video games you must play before you die. If you have any interest in playing a space game, I wholeheartedly recommend this game, even despite only playing it for like half an hour. I feel like this is the kind of game you have to go into 
looking for like a 30 40 50 hour gaming experience like you have to want like a big game experience if you go in looking for something to kill time for 20 minutes you're gonna barely make any progress um sort of how i didn't make too much progress today but let me just say the interface of this game blows me away the space combat blows me away the little cool features like uh, autopilot and you know computer targeting blow me away this game is like this game is like a space game where they made all the right decisions. And you don't even have to be a space dude. You can just be a space merchant if you want. You don't gotta fight. Nobody's making you fight. You could just be a space merchant. You could spend your days hauling cargo if you want. A full open universe to explore that's easy to navigate, easy to control, easy interfaces, smart features, smart ships. Just, this game is great. So yes, I, I wholeheart I am astonished by this game, surprised. I was not expecting that this game was going to be as neat as it is. Um, you know, I would love to explore this more, but I think I would have to do it like over like a Christmas break or something, because the amount you'd have to commit to like fully explore this universe is huge. But just there's hospitals, taxis, civilian ships, there's police, there's military, just so much cool stuff. If you are looking for an open space world to explore, look no further, let me tell you. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the game. What do you guys think of this game here? X3 Reunion. Does it live up to my level of hype or am I overhyping it? Does this game secretly suck and I'm just a sucker for thinking otherwise? Or have you played this game and do you similarly love it? Are there other cool features that I haven't seen today? that if you've played this game you know about and you can share in the comments below so people can know just how deep this rabbit hole goes because the game looks incredibly deep to me from the surface level maybe it's not as deep as i think or maybe there's tons of stuff that uh, i haven't even seen yet so either way let me know in the comments down below uh, and as always whatever you think of this game hopefully uh today was uh, enjoyable for you entertaining if that is the case don't forget to like the video and all the jazz and uh, i will see you guys in the next one so until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves, and peace. All right, what happens when you become a pirate yourself and decide to attack a neutral space station? I don't quite know how close I have to be before my weapons are effective, but... Okay, we're pretty close. Okay, we do seem to be damaging them, I think. Oh my god, okay, I was trying to destroy them. And I just realized that you can, like, ask them directions and stuff. I'm not sure, but you could try looking beyond the east gate. That is hilarious. You can stop and ask for directions. Also, they seem to be totally fine with me shooting at this space station. They're, like, completely unfazed. They're like, whatever. All right, so attacking them does absolutely nothing. Good to know.